Reef Dudes is sponsored by Ecotech Marine and Bulk Reef Supply. Today I'm super stoked because my order just showed up from Big Show Frags and we got the new clownfish anatomy for my new nano, so let's get to it. Well, what's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. So this is the first time I've ordered livestock from Big Show Frags. I've ordered hardware from them before. So I'm really curious to see how everything goes. Um, I did order a pair of storm clownfish and a Colorado sunburst anemone to go my new nano. So we're gonna get these guys on box. We'll get them in the tank, acclimated, and check out the new goodies. So these guys were overnighted from the other side of the country. Got do 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 my storm clowns and my Colorado sunburst. Google review, fun marine pamphlets bunch of cool samples and we got our box tape release pull here huh, look at that that's pretty cool actually they made a carrying handle out of the tape to lift it out that's actually the first i've seen that it's kind of a nice touch oh look at that got our anemone in there it's already open and happy this is really good to see um seeing stuff already open and happy straight out of the bag is pretty sweet okay now the first thing i want to do is once i get all these stickers off is put it into the water to float and temperature acclimate it we got our sunburst and them floating in the tank next up we have our clownfish and i can already see them swimming around so that is really awesome to see um it always makes me happy you know i'm always a little bit nervous ordering stuff from shipping it but really impressed with how these guys have shipped so far and the first one into the tank everyone is now floating in the tank now one thing i did notice too they did put little pellets of carbon in with the coral so in with anemone there's chunks of carbon in there which is going to absorb any toxins that might be released during shipping all right guys let's let her float for 20 30 minutes and then we'll start drip acclimating now that everyone's been floating for a bit i should be safe to start drip acclimating them do you like everything's nicely labeled with the order ideas what it is colorado sunburst bubble tip inspection everything looks good on the foot no rips no tears just hang on to a little couple little pellets of carbon I'm gonna take him out let him drip for a bit next we'll get the fish into the bucket um, I generally will check the salinity and the temperature and just kind of compare it to the tank once we get them both in there now when I'm acclimating both nems and clownfish I'll generally just take you can use a drip method but I usually will just take a scoop of a measuring cup and I'll just mix some tank water in with the shipping water. And I'm gonna do this a handful of times until I've replaced most of the water in the container. Every, you know, five minutes or so, I'll just put another scoop in. When it gets too full, I'll dump some out and do it again. And that, to which point, you know, you've replaced most of the water inside the vessel and they should be used to it. Now I did check the salinity as well in between this and it was relatively close between salinity and temperature, so. We could probably do a reasonably quick acclimation process on this, but I'm still gonna do it over about 20 minutes or so for a good measure. Now these guys were overnighted, so they were in that bag less than 24 hours. If you were shipping from somewhere that was days, there would be a consideration of dealing with potential ammonia in the water, um, and you'd wanna nest get them out of the water much, much quicker. But because it was a relatively short trip, I'm not overly worried about it, but it is something to consider. And then once I feel I got too much water in the container, I will dump some out and then when we add some more tank water again, it again ups the, the ratio of tank water that they're currently in. Now once you replace most of the water in here, you should be pretty safe to add it. I've done this over about 25-30 minutes, um, so I'm fairly confident it should be acclimated fairly well. Now before I add the NEM, I turn down the return pump flow to basically a couple percent, same with the Nero, and I'm doing this just to give the NEM a bit of a chance to settle in and hopefully attach its foot. And you turn the flow off because so he doesn't blow around all over the place, and ideally you want him to attach on his own. Now another consideration too, if you know the par that the anemone came from, ideally I'm going to match my lights to that. So I did actually just message Big Show Frags and asked them what kind of par they had it under, and then same thing, we'll match these lights and everyone should be happy after that. Got the first one, and number two. So we got the first bit of life in their new home, these little guys are already little buddies so they should pair up nicely. Got the Nem up top, and looks like he's attached. He hasn't blown away, so that's awesome. So hopefully he will expand and be nice and happy over the next few hours. So I'm gonna let these guys settle in and we'll do an update in an hour or two. So it just goes to show an enemy will do what it wants. I put it up at the top of the tank, come around to the side, and it already walked itself to the side of the tank. So it is kind of there directly under the flow of the Nero 3. 
so we will see what runs up in a bit. It's kind of crazy how much it walks around already so quick. Alright guys, it's now the next day. My little clowns are settling in nicely. Um, I did feed them last night and they did eat right away, so really happy they seem happy and healthy. My Nem, of course, decided to hide on the back of the rock, so figures. And he is chilling down on the back side down there, so hopefully he'll settle in and come back up after a little bit. Um, of course they can do what they want. He started up here, walked down there, you know, ended up back over here, and I went on the back of the rock. So Nems do what Nems do, so hopefully he'll settle in and be somewhere visible and hopefully get our, the clowns hosting it, which will be really cool. But yeah, these guys are pretty awesome. Like they're very pretty little clowns, so pretty cool for the, pretty happy for the storms. So yeah, overall I would say very, very happy with Big Show Frags for my order. Everything is packed well, fish are super happy, so shout out to you guys. Um, and my little nano, yeah, this is the first signs of life, so really excited to let this tank kind of mature and do it. So far I'm doing clowns and the nems in it for now. I think I'm probably going to add a bunch of really cool inverts as well and just do a lot of those little micro creatures that would get lost in my big tank. So it's kind of my plan, so do a little more of an update on this one as things progress. I hope you enjoyed this. As always, if you did hit that like button, you're new, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.